Francesca Marie. How are you? Hello, Danielle. Sorry. <laughs> Why am I doing an American accent? I don't know. Did you catch you? You you should do Sorry? You should do an Italian accent. That's because I'm Italian. Um, oh, okay. No, that that's not gonna happen. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, then I don't <laughs> How are you? I'm really good. I'm really happy today. I got my um, I, I ordered my wedding dress today, so I'm like <gasps> super happy. You didn't tell me that you were getting married. Yeah, I'm getting married. Now. Oh my god! He goodness. liked it. He put a ring on it. Let me see. Let me see. He liked it, so he put a ring on it. Ooh. Yeah. Girl. Oh wow! He really put a ring on it. Oh my god! <laughs> That's awesome. Well, congrats. When are you getting married? Um, we're getting married in June next year, 2014. Oh wow, that's awesome! And he's British as well. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's from East London as well. Yeah. And did yeah. you meet is he an actor? He's not an actor. I would not date an actor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um he is. He's a writer, and um, but he's also he's a Paralympic athlete, actually. But I didn't meet him for any of that. Um. He also likes to write, so um, we met at like a writers group. Sounds really oh, romantic. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god! Wow. Yeah, my boyfriend. He is not. He is not an actor. No. Okay. He's he's like got the regular nine to five job, and it's it's oh. really nice. It's really nice because I hear yeah, he's tough so a bit sort of stable yeah. and yeah, exactly grounded, stable, grounded, and um, it's just nice to. It's nice to have that. I like that. And yeah. uh, it's nice to have your own thing, too. I like that, too. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that he put a ring on it. Uh, yeah. And I'm glad, that, I'm glad that you have your wedding dress. And um, I would like to see that at some point, if you okay. can see that link, because I'm also, <laughs> yeah, I'm also a costume designer, so I live for these things a little bit. Um, oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Um, that's very exciting. Anyway, sorry, let's talk about you. So, okay. how did you get, tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me about your background in acting and then how that went to the web world. And I know that you write as well. Um, so, tell me about yourself. Um, okay, so I've been an actress for about 10 years. That's kind of the main thing that I do. I teach as well. And that's kind of my nine to five when I'm not acting. And, and more recently, I'm moving more into um, writer, director, producer. Um, I've made a short film. I've made um, a web series um, that you're talking to me about today. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, I've just been acting for about yeah about ten years. And um, yeah, that's me. That's awesome. And so now, what inspired you to write Rugged Rock? Um, I suppose when I started to write Rugged Rock, um, I would say that um, I've worked a lot in sort of educational theatre. Um, Rugged Rock is obviously a, it's a mockumentary about um, a group of actors working for a touring um, educational children's theatre company. Um, and I've worked a lot in, in that already, so uh, what, what better way to, you know, I suppose it's best to... I'm messing this up, see? I know no, I do fine. it. You're totally fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. You want to, you want to do your uh, warm-up exercises that I loved so much in the first, in the second, in the second scene where everybody was dancing and doing the Rihanna stuff? Yeah. Okay, I'll do a bit of that. Yeah. I need to get right. Katie in here. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do a little dolly warm up. Love it. Um, oh, oh, we're doing, um, this. we're doing this. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got into it. I'm sorry. Good. I'm glad you did. Thank you for watching. <laughs> oh my um, God, it's awesome. It's it's hilarious and like specifically the the warm up exercise part. It cracks me up because. I have a background in theater as well, and that was one of the parts that pissed me off so much about acting was this, like, I, I, I felt like such an idiot. I felt like such an idiot doing them, and, like, the, the way that your partner, um, and again, if you don't want this to be in the thing, I will make a note to Jeff, but 
the part your partner in the in the show in Rugged Rock, just the seriousness that she took in doing the warm up exercises was fantastic. She is amazing to work with. She's just brilliant. She's just so off the cuff as well. She just yeah, she's fantastic. That's Katie. Katie Poulter. She's also a stand up comedian as well. So I'm oh, really happy to have her on the project. Yeah. She's she's amazing. Like I just I loved you know, theater there's so many things that you can you can make uh, a show because they just you have those actors that are at the end like you know when they don't make the when they don't make the show that they're auditioning for or whatever they take themselves so seriously which you yeah. should I think to a degree I know it's, but, it's horrible yeah yeah it is it makes me <laughs> it makes me so uncomfortable when I'm you know in an audition or whatnot and like you see these people. And I'll never, I'll never forget one time I was auditioning for a show in my hometown, which is this little like town in um, 30 minutes outside of San Francisco. And I, a friend came with me and he is not an actor. And I remember this guy in front of us was getting into character, but he like slammed his head on the table in front of him. And it like kind of made us all jump because we were like, oh, oh my God, like, is he okay? But Somebody went over there and asked, "Sir, are you okay?" And he's like, Ugh, "You're messing me up. I'm getting into character." And I'm like, "Wow, oh, this, this is too much. This is too much. This is." And you have those. You meet those people where it's like, you know, like we're actors. Like I get it. Like this is our craft. But like, just like anything, you can't take yourself too seriously. No, you have to be able to just relax just a little bit because otherwise, like, you know, you you come off. I don't know that what's the word am I, that I'm looking for it just it just um, come on a little like I would probably say desperate um yeah I would say desperation is that what you said um well yeah I don't like to say that I think that's a bit cruel but um I think Zara from Rugged Rock would say that those people are a little bit desperate for the role yes um, yeah yes so um so yeah so the inspiration for Rugged Rock was your experience within the theater world, within you teaching theater? Um, I worked a lot in educational theater, so I worked for quite a few um, companies that um, go around schools and they perform sort of educational, um, issue-based um, work for young people. Um, but I've worked for some fantastic companies, that's the thing. I haven't worked for any companies that are remotely like Rugged Rock at all, but kind of along the way, I've always thought, oh, wouldn't it be really funny if this happened or, you know, or, or if that happened or, you know, like situations that you find yourself in, you might, you know, I've put them into Rugged Rock and I've kind of hyped them. On. So, you know, like the reception is seen in episode three when, um, you know, Bazza thinks that, being an actor is really glamorous and actually the receptionist kind of looks down on him and dismisses him, that sort of thing like you come across quite a lot um, and you know like you said it's all like the auditions and um, it's really cutthroat and I find that heartbreakingly funny if you want. <laughs> so I just thought I'd take the piss out of it you know um, and it, it is hard, it's a really hard industry for actors director producer, for everyone it's really hard and it's really personal as well and but you know like you say don't take things too seriously so I just thought why not make fun of it in a way and I've, I've kind of been writing it in my head for about eight years probably you know without realizing it certain situations I found myself in thinking oh you know what that would be quite funny if, if this happened or certain people that I've met um, you know like Zara is kind of like a, a mixture of, of some different people that I've met along the way um, and yeah do, do you know what I mean like um, yeah, yeah I get, put them together yeah no I totally I totally get it for the for the viewers because yeah. just in case they have not watched your wonderful show Zara is your character, is your lead character, correct? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then, and then uh, Bat, say the name again, Bat, I, I'm going to say it wrong. Bazza. Say it again. 
Is it Vasa? The, the guy? Vasa. Or? The, 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 your, your female um, best friend. Oh, uh, Dolly. Dolly. Oh, yes. They, I mean, it's kind of centering around you two at this point, at least up until episode three. Um, you guys yeah. are the people that are, that are dictating the show. And, yes, I do understand what you mean. Like, there's, there's again, coming from theater, there is, um, Zara is, is the, <laughs> is the teacher that kind of takes herself seriously, but then, you know, is doing what, doing her own thing at the same time, and, she kind of holds herself on this pedestal. It's just, it's, it's fantastic. Like when you, when you two are watching, um, watching the auditions and just sitting there, I mean, you see it all over her face. You, you really do. Like, it's, it's fantastic. I know, I know what you mean. Um, our in our, in our company, in HLG Studios, the company that I mostly work for, the writer Yuri. A lot of the things that we will do in sketches or you know whatever it may be he gets he draws a lot of inspiration from things that have happened to him in his experiences throughout the years and it's you know being that we were a close group of friends sometimes we'll remember things that happen and we'll be like hey is this and we'll be like oh yeah yeah it's from that <laughs> blah 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 I'm like oh okay and it's it's just fantastic it's fantastic that you can you know compile different yeah. qualities of people and compile them into one character. Yeah. I'll yeah. have that. I mean, anybody that's in theater, whether they started it in middle school or whatever, they we've all had that drama teacher. You know what I mean? Like the drama teacher, like Zara, that she's, she's just, she takes herself a little too seriously. And it's, it's kind of like, okay, like I remember my teacher in high school, like she was, yeah. She was a little, she took herself a little too seriously. Like, yeah. it's just like high school, you know? Come on. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. And <laughs> a massive, she's a massive hypocrite, and she's like the worst person that could be running at the children's theatre company. Um, I love the I, scene. I love the scene when she gets on the, the motorcycle. Oh, see, yeah. <laughs> with, with one of with them, her, you know, many, many men. Yeah, lots of, uh, yeah. she's got lots of guys on the way. It's I'd awesome. Say, yeah. So now your inspiration was driven from um, from different experiences that you had within, you know, theater and like, you know, um, basically kind of auditions. Yeah, auditions, amping up those those characters, those experiences. Um, yeah. When did you actually decide that you were going to sit down and write it? Like you were going to um, you know, do this web series. Um. Maybe about a year ago. So I just thought I've had this idea buzzing around in my head. Like, you know what? Let me stick it down on on the computer. And um, I started off with a few things. Um, I didn't have any plans for it. I just thought I'd just write it all organically and just see what comes out. Um, I started off with a few things and just kind of added to it. And then I had a script, and I thought, oh, it'd be good to get some actors around to do a reading. Um, and I know a few actors um, that I thought would be suited. And actually, the two male characters that are in it, um, it's predominantly a female um, cast, but there's, there's two male characters that are in it. And I actually wrote those parts for them. And while I was writing, I kind of thought, oh, actually, it would be funny, you know, if, if Warren played Baza and, you know, um, yeah, so I kind of I wrote those for them. Um, but yeah, I didn't have any plans for it. I didn't even think it would be a I just wrote it. And then afterwards, I think I was chatting to um, one of the guys from Next Wave, which is the guys that produced this um, web series along, alongside me. Um, we were doing a feature film together at the time, and um, they, uh, I think I think Ryan said to me, oh, about maybe it being a web series. I think, I think he did. Um, but yeah, I just thought you know, it, it lended itself quite well. So it was the right amount of sort of yeah, little chunks that, that could have seen it. Yeah, it's quite long, but I mean, and um, yeah, it, it lended itself quite well to episodes, I'd say. So I just thought, why not give it a go, give it a bash, make it. Yeah, no, I mean, it's it reads really well. One thing I wanted to ask you is, I noticed that in the first the first episode you released 
one long form content episode and then there was one you then you did episode one part one and then episode one part two why is that I am um, I'm gonna try and think really careful I'm oh, sorry <laughs> that's fine I'm sorry I realized no, I did I'm, not, that. I'm sorry and that's fine. I mean, it's you know, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm a, I'm a bit of a novice at this kind of thing. I'm learning as I go along, um, and there was just so much stuff in the first episode that I just kind of I thought I I just put out a, a, a half an hour episode, um, just to see what people think, uh, get some feedback, and then I can learn from that. Um, whereas I think somebody who's probably more experienced would have looked at the format probably a little bit. Um, but they know the format, you know, having, having done stuff before. I mean, this is my only, this is my second project that I've ever done on my own, this sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, I think initially, I think 20 minutes is probably maximum that an episode should be. But, yeah, at the beginning, I, I just thought um, I'd release it, see what people think, give it a go. And also, with, with web series, as well, you, you have that kind of freedom to not be restricted which I thought was, I, I think it's quite good. So, um, I mean, I'm always excited to see long form content on the internet. Um, because oh, okay. when I started, when I started doing, um, doing web series in, uh, 2000, God, 2006, 2007, um, oh. we, yeah, we released, um, really short episodes of our web series Break a Leg. And that was when nobody was doing long form content on, on the internet. And it was, I found it like really hard as an actress to kind of get to that level of character development that you want to get. Like, it was like, you, yeah. you kind of, it was almost like warming up. Like you got that eight minutes and then that was it. You know what I mean? Or nine minutes at the time. And then um, when we did leap year, the first season we were we were doing it, and it was a little bit longer. Um, and then the second season, when we got you know cleared to do the second season, we got cleared to do um, 22 minute episodes, and that was like it was amazing because I felt like at that point I could be the character, like I could really jump into it. And I don't know, that's one thing that I really want for you know media online entertainment rather to be to to realize and respect it as as much as people respect regular regular entertainment on on television because I mean ultimately what what are we we're actors we're you know artists and we want to we want to get and delve into these things as much as we possibly can you know and not yeah. you know kind of not not necessarily saying that it was like it was when we were doing shorter form content that it was half asked, it was just more like we couldn't get to where we wanted to be. And I felt like all of us as actors and in, in my troupe, we we were able to we were able to get there when we were able to have longer episodes. It was it was really it was really liberating as as an actor to to be at that level. And that's when I when I saw your first episode, because I happened to to get the longer form first. That's what popped up first when I looked it up. Yeah. And um, it was, I was like, oh, this is awesome. And then I saw that the first and the first episode cut in half and I was like really confused. I was like, wait, what? And I noticed that in the first episode, when it was a long form content, that you had, um, you had more views. Way yeah. more views. Yeah. I mean, we didn't promote the part one and part two um, like we did the first one. I just thought I'd put it out there just because I've had a few comments saying, you know, it's quite long for a web series. Don't you know that web series should be this, 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 and this? And I'm like, well, actually, no, I don't know. Um, now I do. But at the same time, you know, you know, it's the internet. We can kind of push the boundaries a little bit, I think. Why do we have to stick to a, a certain format? Um, um, Right, and do not ever let anybody tell you that it has to be this way. Don't. Yeah. They told us that we couldn't do 22 minute episodes, and here we were. You know, yeah. so they can shove it. Yeah. You can shove it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, so now you're finishing up episodes, or you, you finished filming episodes four, five, and six. Um, okay, so episode four, we haven't ended up filming for um, a couple of different reasons. It was very much a standalone episode anyway. Um, I was a bit gutted that we didn't get to film it. One of the actors, unfortunately, is away now, so we can't, we can't film it. Um, but it doesn't interfere too much with the storyline. Um, it was, it was, the episode was called At Home with the Cast, and we kind of get to know each character in their home setting. And we kind of see um, Zara's life outside of work, and we, in a way, get to see, like, what she, why she is, how she is, and you know the vulnerable side to Zara, sort of thing. Um, but we haven't made that. Maybe I'll, I'll make it for series two, hopefully. Um, but but now, so so episode five is now episode four, and then episode five will be the last episode of the first series. So um, oh. four should be coming out soon, next week. I think. Oh, next week. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. So now, is are you planning on doing a second, uh, second season? Um, I'd like to. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I would like to. I'll just, I'll just see, um, what comes out. I, I like to kind of write with no pressure. I wouldn't like to kind of what. I've never tried it. I've never tried to write something for something. But I mean, now that um, series one's out of the way, um, I can start thinking about about it a little bit more. Um, but I'd like to at some point. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, so now what's next for you? Um, at the moment, um, I've got a feature film in the pipeline. Um, but I'm going to find out a little bit more about that at the end of the the week. Um, I've got a feature film coming out on Saturday, the premiere of that, it's, it's called Sacrifice, um, and it's with Next Wave Motion Pictures, and um, that's being, that's coming out at a film festival on Saturday, the 31st of August. Um, I play Kaylee, who's like a, a single mum on an estate, she's a bit, a bit of a rude girl, a bit tough, she's got a lot of different issues, she's quite violent, so quite a different character from Zara. Um, yeah, and she's she's a lot younger than Zara as well. Um, yeah, um, really fun to film. Um, now, did you did you act in it, or just act in it, or did you did, did you write it? Did you produce? Did you do anything? No, like I that? didn't. I didn't write um, or produce it. I was just in it. Yeah, one of the actors in it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, um, so now. I have to ask you one question before I forget, because I almost forgot to ask you. Um, yeah. During you, your filming and, and releasing Rugged Rock, how important do you find social media and um, getting the word out there? I'd say very, 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 very important. Um, I don't know any other way of doing it. I'm still learning as I go along, you know, um, being an, a writer and a director, quite different for me. I've had to put those hats on, but now I'm taking those hats off. Um, I've got my producer hat on, and then I take that hat off, and I'm putting on my PR hat, and it's mainly kind of Twitter and Facebook, and that's how I get everything seen. Um, learning, again, learning as I go along, really. Um, but yeah, it's been incredible, I'd say, getting getting work out there. Yeah, I agree with you. I, that's, I mean, when we started, it was not anywhere near what social media is like right now, and I mean, thank God for thank God for these platforms where we can get the word out there. Thank God, it's it's awesome. Yeah. I'm so thankful. Yeah, well, definitely. tell us where we can find <laughs> you and Rugged Rock, and where we can follow and add and tweet and do all that fun stuff. Okay, <clears throat> sorry. I okay. a little cup. <laughs> Want to get water? Um, no, no, that's fine. Don't worry. Okay. So you can find me um, on Twitter at um, it's Frankie Marie. Yeah, find me on Twitter at it's Frankie Marie. Find me on Twitter again at it's Rugged Rock. Um, we're on Facebook. Rugged Rock is on Facebook, and also my um, company, uh, Ghetto Fairy Tale Films, is also on Facebook. Um, what else? 
I've got a three minute animated comedy short film that's also a poetry short film called There Comes a Time that's going to be coming out in about a month. Um, so look out for that as well. And that's also on Facebook and also on YouTube. Um, we've got Rugby Rock on YouTube, check it out. And also some of my other acting bits and pieces, Francesca Marie, British actress. Check out my pictures on YouTube. Um, and my first short film, uh, Ghetto Fairy Tale, which um, I forgot to ask. I'm so glad you mentioned that. Go on. Oh, okay. Um, so I wrote and directed and produced that uh, maybe I think a year ago. It was my first project. I've never done anything like that before. Um, I'd written a poem and something. Oh, you know what? That would make a really, really good short film. And I thought, you know what? Let me give it a go. So, um, being in the industry for sort of ten years, I know. Actors, I know a few camera people, that kind of thing. So I've got a little team together, and um, I decided to, to to create this short film. Um, it's not perfect, but it's um, I think it's great. I like it. It's set in East London, where I'm from. Um, it's a comedy. It's got a couple of little rude bits in it. Um, it's a poem as well. It's quite romantic. And I wrote it for me other half. Oh, that's awesome. for, for your, oh, you wrote it for him? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. my God, you did. <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, my God. That's, that's like, ridiculously romantic. Oh, I know. Don't tell anyone. Sarah's romantic underneath. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I would never do that for my boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> 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 Okay. And then suddenly it turned into a counseling session. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it was yeah. really, really yeah. nice talking to you, Francesca. I'm really glad that lovely. you and I were able to figure out this mic situation. Yeah. Um, and I hope that you're you're not as nervous um, as you were in the beginning. I hope. Yeah. Right? You oh, I'm fine. You you you're lovely to talk to. I'll talk to you all day long. You're brilliant. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to just talk? Huh? Do you want to just keep talking? Oh no, I'm just saying that. <laughs> <you're not laughs> <in the line. laughs> but no, you're really easy to talk to. So. Oh, yeah. well, good. I'm glad that you. I'm glad that you were. You were. I'll calm. make you a cup of tea next time. Okay. Cool. Thanks so yeah. much. I like wine. Mm -hmm. in East London. What about wine? You're coming. To, you're coming to London next next year, aren't aren't you? No, I'm actually coming to London in two months. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm coming for the VidFest the end of um, the end of October. Maybe we can grab. Uh, wait. Maybe we can grab a Strongbow. Eh? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have to be tea. Just because we're in London, we could have a drink. Yeah, we can have a drink. I mean, I know that in London you don't drink wine like we do in Italy. I drink um, wine. Oh, I can drink wine, but in the Olympics. Oh, yeah. We should do that, then. We should have a competition. Okay. We're okay. going to do that. Oh, my God. Danger. Um, <laughs> oh, it would be good. Awesome. We should film that. You yeah. should interview me while, while we're having a, a vino. Oh, my God. We should. That, yes. That, that will be entertaining. That would be comedy. That will, I will let them know, and um, I might be taking you up on that. I hope okay. uh, you're not uh, joking around. No. <laughs> I'm okay. serious. I'm talking about wine. <laughs> yeah. Good. I'm glad. Are you sure you're not Italian? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm okay. Irish. I, I was born in Dublin. Oh. So really? that's how I like know that I'm Italian. <laughs> What? And you like wine this much? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> maybe there, maybe there's something you don't know. Okay, yeah, okay. maybe. <laughs> well, Francesca, thanks thank you so much for chatting with me. Um, and good luck. I'm excited to see the next couple of episodes. So I will cool. be looking for that. And You're gonna uh, love the next one. This the next I, one's. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, and also I have to tell you. Love your music choices. I am a big fan of uh, ghetto rock or ghetto rock, ghetto hip hop. Love it so much. It made me really happy, especially when you played um, 
during the um, the theater scene when you played. I can't think of the the song right now. Oh, <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I'm a I'm a fan of it as well. Yeah, I, I'm like addicted. Like I'm really bad. I I love ghetto hip hop. It's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Good. It's great to work out to. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's angry music. Yeah, you feel like you can beat people up. Yeah, and yeah. maybe you can. Maybe you can. Yeah, I remember walking on the bus in London, actually, and I can't remember what song I was listening to at the time because I have a tendency to listen to them a lot, like, over and over again. But I remember thinking, like, yeah, try and mess with me. I'll take you down. <laughs> you know, like, kind of walking with, like, a little... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, anyway, Francesca, please go to bed because I know it's okay. late over there. And yeah. um, I will be following up with you on um, that email. Okay? Okay. All right. Brilliant. Thanks so much. Take care. Thank you so much. Want to know there and say hello to your uh, fiancé. I will. He's away at the moment, but I will. Oh, <laughs> I will when he comes back. When he comes back. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay? All right, then. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye.